What's up my dudes, Val here. Today, I have typed into a, I went to YouTube, I went to check it out, to see what other videos people are uploading on AWTD, and I saw quite a few content creators covering how to get puzzles, best way to farm puzzles, etc. And I'm gonna be real, most people have no idea. Most people really don't know the best ways to get puzzles. Most people don't really know exactly how to get puzzles effectively in this game and how to do it. And I'm gonna let you guys know this right now. This right here, AFK, you can do it. If you're not playing the game, it's a decent way to get puzzles, but I'm gonna be real, it's kind of a waste of time. It doesn't give you a lot for how much time it takes. So I personally wouldn't do AFK. I haven't done AFK in, since I first started the game and since I learned other strategies to actually generate a lot of puzzles. So first things first is I gotta get rid of my puzzles. I gotta get to where I don't have any um, I'm gonna go ahead and blow all my puzzles so I don't have any left so yeah you guys can see now I have 188 puzzles and by the end of this video I'll probably have a couple thousand because I'm very in game and I've already done this a good little bit so I don't even know how many characters I can do this to so what we're gonna do today there's two main quest lines you want to focus on to kind of maximize your puzzle gains and that here is going to be your achieve level one this one's going to be very easy to get up get up very quickly actually not this one right i don't think it's this one i think it's upgrade units yeah it's this one uh upgrade units is going to be the one you want to focus on you're going to get upgrade units very easily and then the other one is total scores total scores they're reset every now and then this is going to be one of the best ways to get puzzles right here is total scores and upgrade units these are going to be the two main ones we're focusing on so now how are we going to do that well it's actually really simple uh first you have to find a unit that you don't have leveled up i don't think i can sort by level can i i cannot so i have to find it's going to be like urs random urs and stuff that i just don't have leveled um so you're going to want to find units basically that you don't have level like max level already um it might take me a second because i've been playing once again a very very long time so here a good example uh we're gonna do 30 you can see it's 218,000 to go ahead and max him out we're gonna max him out and then we're gonna go over here we're gonna go to quest extra quest you can see total upgrade units plus 100 and you can see we got um what is that like 200 off that one alone so this is just like the basic one this is just the basic idea of how to do it essentially uh, we're going to go ahead and claim that too so now that you got the basic idea i'm going to put it to the extreme and i'm going to finish up leveling all the rest of my characters i'm going to go run metal rush a couple times in a row really quickly and then we're going to see exactly where we're at so i have my metal rush team ready to go you guys can see this i'm going to talk while i do the first one but then we're going to fast forward because you guys don't want to watch me do five six runs in a row uh, we're going to fast forward and then I'm going to basically show you guys the results of doing five or six Metal Rush runs and coming back and earning puzzles. And this to me, in my opinion, because everybody asks what's the best way to get puzzles. In my opinion, this is the absolute best way, bar none. You can get 20,000, 30,000 puzzles. You can get insane amounts of puzzles doing this. Um, this to me is the absolute best way to get puzzles in this game. I know what other content creators are making. I know what they say, but I'm telling you guys, this is easiest. This is the best way to do it. You want to go into Metal Rush. Uh, you can copy my exact team. You can bring a different team. It doesn't matter. The main thing is, and I went on insane instead of Challenger. Damn it. Let me let me restart real quick. Let me let me get out of here really quickly. Um, one secundo while I go ahead and fire the game back up. You want to make sure you're running Metal Rush on Challenger. That way you can get the absolute most out of your runs. Uh, Metal Rush on Challenger is very important. So yeah, I'm going to get Metal Rush. I'm going to go do Challenger for Metal Rush. And I'm going to do that. And you'll get like somewhere... You'll get around a million a run if you're running this exact same team I'm running. Uh, which is why I want to actually show you guys a run first before I actually like, you know, go on. Uh, but you want to make sure you do it on Challenger. Because if you do it on Insane, you'll only get like 800k. 7 to 800k per run, rather than the 1 million per run you will get doing it on Challenger. So you do want to make sure you're doing it on Challenger. Um, sometimes I forget, which is what almost happened there. I almost did forget. Let's go ahead. I almost remembered I got this crank. This is why it takes so long to load. Okay, so let's go ahead now. Let's do this. Let's go here. That's raids right here. Metal Rush, select, challenger, create, and quick start button should be right here. So, we don't even got to wait for the game to load. We're just going to shotgun it. 
and now we're going to go to metal rush and I'll, like i said i want to show you guys one run how i'm doing it um and basically after that i'm going to just fast forward and you guys can see i'll do like five or six runs total it's going to be very boring i don't really enjoy doing metal rush but for the sake of the video to show you guys exactly um to essentially show you guys exactly what to do how to maximize your puzzles i want to show you guys exactly what needs to be done essentially uh for you guys to get maximum puzzle game now another thing i get asked a lot is valk why do you have 5,000 starting cash um it's because i'm level 200 or over level 200 you can see i'm level 395 right and because i'm level 395 i have um more starting cash it, it caps out at level 200 once you reach level 200 you'll have 5k starting cash that is the cap so yeah just get level 200 and you'll have as much as you need uh so now we're gonna do this we're gonna start upgrading yoshi upgrade oshi all the way and then we're going to place megami down and let megami start cooking after we have fully upgraded these guys um we do want to get megami down asap but maxing out oshi maxing out a um i'm maxing out oshi and maxing out a nanami is kind of like the priority here um once we max oshi we could go ahead and do this right now so once we max oshi we'll be good to go and then we can start maxing. All we need to do is max a singular anatomy for right now. Just one. Just one will do it. Um, let's go ahead and feed them. Feed them. Order some more food. We do want to get a Mega Me down as soon as possible. That way we can get Maha Raga some scaling. Let Maha Raga scale up a little bit. Um, let's go ahead and put him right here. Because it doesn't matter if he's up front or in the back or whatever. So now we're going to have Maha Raga come soon soon to him um and whenever he gets around here we'll be good to go so we're just kind of waiting on him so now we have to wait for the 500k and and now we just chill for a minute uh that's kind of it because you can see his damage isn't doing anything because they're all metal units you need crits to do it but they made maharaga work against crit enemies so now we're just going to do that and we're gonna make sure he's in a circle which he is which is good so now we just kind of chill out if we need to we can upgrade another megami but we want to make sure we get that 500k and we get maharaga up asap before we do anything else uh maharaga is very 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 important to basically progressing in this so you guys can see why you might want to upgrade more than one nanami you can see how they're pushing through because at the end of the day nanami only has a 70 percent crit rate so even if um even if he's like there yeah we might want to start upgrading some anonymies upgrade more than one so even if there's like one anonymy right there you still have the potential to uh miss because it's 70 percent crit rate isn't 100 percent. so you might need to upgrade more than one anonymy you can see how now they're not pushing through at all because we have two anonymies it's much harder to actually mess up all right so now we get maharaga maharaga is going to pop off and he's going to do his thing and we can just leave that be now uh now we can start maxing out the rest of the anatomies bloop 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 bloop, bloop. max out all the anatomies and now we're going to go ahead and put down a uh, ghetto down ghetto right here he's gonna be full aoe tamer that's going to allow uh anatomy or not anatomy megami to do even more damage of maharaga allow maharaga to pop off even more so that's going to be nice full aoe tamer is always really good and yeah we're just going to kind of keep pushing off this so now you guys can see his damage is going through the roof because now he's got maharaga maharaga has a three million attack stat it goes up every wave and yeah uh, maharaga is very 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 strong so now we're just going to go ahead and start maxing out the rest of anonymies. Did I already max them all? I already did. Okay, cool. So now we're going to put down Dark Flame Lover. BFL is a very, very good uh, unit to have. Very, very powerful. Very strong. Um, probably shouldn't hit the 250 there. I'm probably going to run out of food before then. But it doesn't matter because the main strategy here is, in fact, uh, Maharaga just knocking them senseless. So, yeah, you guys can see the amount of damage that he's going now and we're going to just increase attack here all right uh, feed that now we're gonna put gojo down so whenever they do get close enough we can and also gojo can provide knockback 
the slow doesn't work because the slow doesn't work, cosmic doesn't work. You can inflict cosmic on them, but it doesn't do anything without the slow, so there's no point putting down multiple uh, gojos. You just put down one gojo and he's going to do his job, right? So, now we're kind of reaching the end game of it all. Uh, we're going to feed them all here. Um, there's really nothing else to put down, is there? No. Yeah, you can see they have Tamer on them. They're bleeding. Uh, tamer, bleeding, etc. Pretty good. Pretty good, all in all. The bleed's not doing anything, but you can see Charm, Tamer, and all that stuff. So now we're going to go ahead and hit Gojo. We're going to hit um, Void Stop. And yeah, we're just going to let him do his thing. We're going to pop this. You can see he's at 6 billion damage. Um, yeah. Yeah, he's going to cook, absolutely cook, uh, whenever he does hit them. So now that we've gotten this done, you guys can see this is just one run. We're going to do like five or six of these. Um, this team is just good, just for getting a lot of money. But yeah, it's all because they changed the Maharaga to be able to actually hit metal enemies. So yeah, we're about to lose here, but it's not a big deal. All right, we lose. We get 924,000, pretty good. Now I'm just going to fast forward and do five or five more runs or so and show you guys the results, basically. So, let's go ahead. This is just going to be fast forward time. See you guys in a minute.
All right. I've done basically enough runs at this point to where I'm going to just call it to show you guys the results of my training, essentially. Show you guys the results. I think this was like three or four Metal Rush runs. I'm not entirely sure. It's a good little runs. Um, it's, it's enough to kind of get my point across to you guys. To show you guys exactly what I'm getting at and what I want to show you. And now we play the little game where I'm going to fast forward again because I just want to take note before I, I should have quests pop up here. Yeah. So before I do anything, keep in mind, I'm at 228 puzzles and I am very in game. It's very it's going to be very hard for me to find characters that aren't already max leveled. But I'm going to go out through now, start clicking all my characters and see which ones aren't max leveled and max level basically everybody I can till either I'm out of gold or I'm out of characters max level. So I'm going to go ahead and start that now. It's going to fast forward again. You guys will get to see this process, but once again, it'll be fast forward. So let's get into it. All right, now I'm out of money. I've done everything. Um, I got all my URs done. Now I'm down to SRs. I got SRs left. Uh, whenever you guys are doing this, by the way, make sure you guys start with rares and work your ways up. I've already done, like, I'm pretty sure I've done every single rare. So I was just going with URs because I know I don't have many characters left. Uh, the only characters left for me to max level now are SRs. But I blew, like, 3 million gold. This was just a couple runs just to give you guys an idea. You guys can spend however long you want on this. But now I'm going to go over, I'm not going to claim this because that's a daily that I don't want to show you guys this. I just want to show you guys this. I'm going to claim my total scores first, and then I'm going to claim my total upgrade units. And you guys can see now I have 4.4K. And this is this is just me just doing this very quickly. Uh, you can get puzzles so fast doing this. And then you guys can go over here and you guys can gotcha all you want. You guys can just go crazy with the gotcha. But this is the way a lot of people are going to go ahead and actually get their basically get all their puzzles and be able to generate a bunch of puzzles whenever you need it uh this is like the best way to do it in my opinion so yeah that's basically the video hopefully this helped you guys out um hopefully you guys you know are able to get whatever units you want now if you're a new player this is just a strategy to go ahead and just get you lots of puzzles very quickly to give you a lot of summons that way you guys can go ahead and basically get whoever you want off of like any banner um I do think that I do think that this is probably the absolute best way to do it. I can't think of there being a better way. If there is a better way, let me know in the comment section below. But I do believe this is the absolute best way to get puzzles in the game and the absolute best way to get anything you want. And now you guys can see I'm down to zero puzzles again. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys all for watching as always. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. If you guys have any more questions, let me know in the comment section below. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.